Philadelphia Eagle Brian Westbrook is recovering from a concussion he suffered Monday night. Former running back Merrill Hodges' eight-year pro football career was ended by one. I was confined at home for weeks where I couldn't leave unless somebody went with me. I had to learn how to read again. I went through depression. And these major symptoms took, for nearly, took nearly two years to recover from. The congressional hearing was prompted by a study that hinted retired football players may have a higher than normal rate of Alzheimer's disease or other memory problems. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell detailed rules changes and other steps the league has taken to protect players, but he wouldn't acknowledge a link between violent hits and brain diseases. I just asked you a simple question. What's the answer? The answer is the medical experts are no better than I would with respect to that, but we are not treating that in any way and delaying anything that we do. The study's author also testified the findings don't prove a link between playing football and mental problems later in life. Those numbers may or may not indicate an elevated risk from a career playing football. We can't draw a conclusion, and no responsible scientist would do so. Over the last 10 years, there have been hundreds of studies <coughs> on this issue that has talked about the links between on-field head trauma and the early onset of a number of mental illnesses. The panel was also told that independent neurologists should attend games and decide whether a player should continue after taking a hard hit. The players are at the point now where they will not self-report because they need the money. They are a disposable commodity. Both the league and the players' union agreed to turn over medical records so the committee can get a better idea of the scope of the problem. Jerry Bodlander, The Associated Press, Capitol Hill.